Okay, welcome to part 18 of Frodo's journey. Um, I don't know if you can notice that the sound is a little bit different because I've been playing around with microphones. So I've moved myself onto a dynamic microphone just to see how that works. I really like the sound of the SM58. It's the old classic microphone that people use for um, singing. And it does very nicely for vocals. So I'm wondering if my voice sounds very different. But here we are in the Dead Marshes, and I just want to remind everybody, again, that uh, this video will contain spoilers for the story of Lord of the Rings. So if you haven't watched the movies, you haven't read the books, either of them, go and do both of those things first before you come and watch these videos. And then uh, come along at the end. The links are down at the bottom to get at least yourself a copy of the books. Go to Amazon. I might earn a penny or something off you. It would be quite good. Um, so, here we are, and we're in the Dead Marshes. Now, as I tried to explain to everybody in the last video, but probably wasn't that successful in doing, is that uh, the mountains of Emin Muil, or whatever it is, these mountains that uh, Frodo and Sam get lost in, they're not represented in the game yet, so they are up here, and we've just climbed down from those mountains, and we've come through the Dead Marshes. Most of the Dead Marshes are up there between us and the mountains. And we've got through most of the dead marshes here. And we now have Gollum with us, of course. Because Gollum is leading the party. The Gollum was captured by Frodo and Sam and tamed uh, in the mountains. And then uh, Gollum leads them out of the mountains and down to... Uh, quiet, please. I'm trying to speak. Down out of the mountains and down into uh, the marshes. And Gollum leads them across the marshes and gets them to... Uh, the plains in front of Mordor Daggerlad, I think it might be. So what we're doing is we're going to take a we're going to take a little journey. We'll, we'll skirt around. We'll use the marshes a little bit just to get a bit of a feel of the marshes, and then we'll head into up towards the Black Gate, the Morannan Gate of Mordor. Mordor, if you remember, uh, we have to say the Roly R's in order to be authentic. Lord of the Rings actors. We don't use our Roly R's anywhere else except when we use names from Tolkien, which seems a bit strange, but there you go. That's what they do. Uh, so we're going to Mordor and uh, the Morannan Gate, or the Black Gates of Mordor. And we're just going to take a little run around these marshes. There's various marsh creatures that you can see in this, in this story. And we get the scenery of... Uh, we're now in Daggerlad, so we're now in the Daggerlad Plains. And we're going to... Try and stay well hidden because we are trying to avoid the the great eye and make sure it doesn't spot us. Frodo's not wearing his ring, of course, but at one point during the marsh's travel, a um, a black rider, a winged black rider, winged a flying ring wraith passes over the top, and uh, they have to hide in the bushes. But in general, they're hiding as much as they possibly can here to try and avoid being spotted. So let's just have a quick look around. Uh, up here is some kind of structure, uh, and we're heading up towards this area here. So now we're looking into, in the direction of Mordor, Mordor, and we're heading up that way. Um, but we're just going to skirt around and stay in the marshes for the time being, and then we'll make our way across the wastes towards the Black Gate. And you're probably hearing a bit of music in the background. Uh, it's all very exciting. We're getting into nasty territory. And I hope that's not too loud. We'll see. The, um, the game itself, uh, I've had to use... Uh, a different character for this game because uh, the character that we've been running with so far, the Hobbit, is a little bit too low level to come into this area. These creatures are all going to start fights with him everywhere he goes, so it's just a bit annoying. We don't want any gameplay in this, we're just doing a journey. And so I've occupied the head of a different character who's slightly taller, thankfully. And with any luck we'll be able to uh, continue this journey for a little while longer. I do have to switch to another character in order to get into Mordor. But in the game, of course, is that music getting too loud for us? Seems a bit loud for me. Hang on, we might just change it in the settings in the game. Let's go uh, options. Ambient. 
music volume. Let's turn that down a fraction. Even at very low volume, it seems quite loud, right? Okay. Don't want to turn it off completely, except let's go back to there. All right. Don't want to turn it off completely, but because um, it adds a bit of atmosphere. And of course, these pieces of music are all in a loop. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I've got a new microphone. I'm just testing it out to see how it sounds. I think it makes my voice sound better, uh, the SM58. And uh, it means that I have to do less processing. Well, I never did any processing anyway for these videos, but it means that when I do do serious sound recording uh, with an SM58, I have to do very little processing. And it may be that I'm just used to hearing my voice through an SM58 after years of using one singing and stuff. So maybe it's just I feel more comfortable listening to myself from this. But anyway, we're going to... We see now that we've passed this big lump here, and we're going to head in towards the Black Gate. So Gollum is going to take us by hidden routes. We'll, we'll try and coast by the bushes to make sure we're not seen by anybody. But we're, um, we're going to follow the path into in towards the Black Gate. And I think we'll stop the video there. We'll see how, and we'll see how everything's going. So you can see the two towers. These are the towers either side of the black gate. And we're just going to see if we can stick to the bushes. And then we come to the wastes in front of the gate, the slag hills. And in the game, of course, uh, things have moved on. This is what I'm uh, trying to point out. In the, in the game, the story is, of course, and the story is in the book, that Frodo and Sam are the only ones who get into Mordor before the end of the battle on the Daggerlad Plains, uh, the end of the, you know, before Frodo throws the ring in the fire. The only the only characters who are non-Mordor people that are in Mordor are Frodo and Sam. So in the game Lord of the Rings Online, uh, none of the characters that you play can get into Mordor in any shape or form until that event happens. But you're doing a lot of stuff around th that event, and in fact, at the end, you get five lotro points for defeating Sauron, which is good value, really. Five lotro points, uh, which allows you to buy almost nothing in the lotro store. I don't think you can buy anything for five lotro points. We can go and have a look. It's not very much. Um, if you do get a, uh, a subscription to Lord of the Rings Online, you get 500 lotro points a month for that subscription, which is kind of handy for various things. Buying... Um, Milestones and stuff like that for traveling around the world is one of the most useful ways to spend your 500 lotro points. Makes life a lot easier. Although, um, there's not a lot of places to hook up to here in this area, but we're heading towards the Black Gate and the hobbits are sneaking around trying to make sure they're not spotted. Let's go up behind this rock. And uh, we'll have a look. There's the Black Gate. We'll see if we can scoot around here. And what we have to do is we have to get onto one of the big hills... Uh, of Slag, which is where Frodo and Sam and Gollum watch a few people moving around at the gate. The gate opens and allows an army in at one point. As Sauron's gathering his forces, Sauron is gather Sauron is gathering his forces uh, in order to. There's a big slag heap there, but I think we might get a bit closer, so we'll we'll, we'll head in this way. Uh, and this is all just waste, and um, we're going to just try and find the biggest slag heap we can to stand on top of, and we'll end the, we'll end our little episode there. And you can let me know in the comments what you think of the microphone. If you think the voice is any better, if you think the sound is any better, um, maybe it's maybe the thing is that I'm used to hearing me through this kind of microphone, but you guys aren't. You've been hearing me through the other microphone, and in fact, a headset microphone when I was down in my other house doing some recordings so it's all been a bit of a mishmash and a and a bunch of different things going on so we've got all these slag heaps heaps of slag uh, in front of mortar where they just the orcs just come out and dump all their stuff it's like a big bin outside so they um, they're doing all that and we're going to get up to somewhere where we can see these gates with a good view and get a nice nice picture of them and then of course what happens uh, when they get to the top of the hill here 
is that um, the gate opens to let an army in, and Frodo decides he's going to try running through the gate with the army. There's a, sl there's a big slag heap there. We'll try and get on top of that one. Frodo decides he's going to get on top of the... He's going to try and get through the gates with the army at the same time. There is a camp here, but this is later in, you know, later in the story, maybe. I don't know. It's, you need these camps for the game. And I've got a milestone there we can park at. But we'll get up to the top of this slag heap and we'll have a look at the black gate. Here we go. All very nasty and horrible around here, as you would expect. And the game uh, portrays all this sort of stuff really quite nicely. I don't think there's any better slag heap to get onto. We could possibly have got onto one of these over here, but these are really more mountains than slag heaps. We'll just head over to the other side of this, shall we? Can we get any closer with a slag heap? I don't think we can, so we're just going to hide behind this rock here. And as you can see, you could see an army marching along here to enter the Black Gates, and there they are. The Black Gates of Moranin. And um, I'm just going to take a screenshot of that, I think, for the for the card. And then we're going to end the video there. So thanks for watching. We've got to Mordor, but we can't get in because the doors are shut. And Gollum says, hey, you're not going that way. That's totally stupid. Well, let's go a different way. Preciouses. And... Um, Gollum manages to persuade Master to go a different way, and that's the way we're going to go in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with it. That is 18 episodes now, so you're a star if you've been with me that long. Well done. Uh, let me know what you think about the sound, and I'll see you in the next video.